to begin with this. Oklahoma, once again, for the third week in a row, gets completely destroyed and embarrassed on national TV. I really thought, you know, after the K-State game, you know, over the last five to eight years, we just struggled with Kansas State. It is what it is. So was I completely shocked by that, losing at home to them a few weeks ago? No, not at all. Then we get to last week against TCU. TCU could have scored 70 points on Oklahoma if they wanted to. They felt sorry for us, and they let up in the fourth quarter. Then you think, okay, no matter the records, what chaos is going on, what the rankings are, who's having a down year, who's having a great year, the records. When it comes to a rival game and when it comes to Oklahoma versus Texas, you can throw all that out the door because it just doesn't really matter. This is the game when both teams are going to bring their best and do whatever they have to do to get a victory in the Cotton Bowl. So that's what I expected to see from Oklahoma. You know, y'all have looked like complete crap the last couple of weeks, but I thought, man, BV, them coaches, the players, especially like the senior players, knowing that this, this game means a ton. And to see Oklahoma go out and get completely embarrassed, 49 to nothing, against your arch rival Texas in the Cotton Bowl on national TV. I don't even have the words. I Davis Bevel is definitely not the answer. He's horrible. He needs to just go ahead and hit the transfer portal and find some JUCO school to go to. I don't know, because that's where he belongs. Dylan Gabriel was out there warming up before the game, so there was a little bit of hope that, hey, maybe he's going to play. Then when they came out to start the game, not even in uniform. So from that point on, I knew, okay, Oh, you may have had a slight chance if Dylan was going to play, but once I seen that he was in street clothes, I knew it was going to be bad. Did I see Texas scoring 49 points? I did. I did. Did I see OU putting up zero? No. No. I thought for sure they were going to find a way, find a way to put some points on the board against your arch rival. But no. BV, Josh Levy, they had no faith in their quarterbacks today. None, none at all. And it showed play calling just ridiculous. It was horrible. Felt like they were just going through the motions. They wanted to get the game over with as quick as possible and not having any faith in their quarterbacks they just <sighs> horrible it's just hard to even speak right now <sighs> at the beginning of the year i really thought oh you had a good chance of going you know 11 to 1 10 and 2 you know, all the hype with BB coming in and the players we still had and Jeff Lebby and his offense and bringing in Dylan Gabriel and some of our recruiting class and the transfer portal that we had this past off season. I thought, man, okay, you know, you we're we're gonna go eight and four at worst. Eight and four. Eight and four now seems like a an amazing season for Oklahoma at this point. We are now three and three. 
we have six games left. Maybe seven if we can miraculously find a way to get ball eligible, which at this point, that's a long shot. I don't even know if we get ball eligible. Seriously. You tell me where we're going to find three more wins this season. We face Kansas next week. At home. It's 2022. And we now live in a world where OU is the worst team in the Big 12. And... Kansas is probably going to be the favorite next week. Think about that for a second. This ain't basketball. This is football. Kansas is going to be the favorite next week in the game against Oklahoma. Six and six is, I think, the best that we go. Would it surprise me if we go three and nine? No, no, it would not. Especially if we don't have Dylan Gabriel. If we have Dylan Gabriel, okay, maybe we go five and seven. We are definitely in a huge rebuilding mode. We'll see what happens with the recruiting class. Do the commits stay? This is going to be a Tough couple years for Oklahoma, Senior Nation. But it will get better, guys. It is going to get better. I think we just hit a spot where it's way rougher than what everybody thought it was going to be. But I trust in BV. I trust the process. Give it time. And by the time we get to the SEC, OE will be back. I'll see you guys in the next one. Boomer.